In this video, I'm going to show you how to conduct a contrast analysis that is quadratic in nature. And quadratic implies that there's one bend in the pattern of the means. The example study is one in which the researchers were interested in how appealing a particular website and ad was relevant to whether the ad and the content of the website material was incongruent, so an ad that was totally irrelevant to the content of the web page, an ad that was moderately congruent, so moderately similar to the content of the web page, and then entirely congruent. Very similar nature of the ad and very similar topic discussed in the web page. And the researchers generated a hypothesis that moderately congruent was actually the sweet spot. You don't want something totally different between the ad and the content of the web page, and you don't want something very consistent between the nature of the ad what's being sold or advertised, and the web page. So to test something like that very efficiently, rather than doing a whole bunch of series of multiple comparisons between the three groups, you could test a quadratic function. So go into Compare Means, One Way ANOVA, put the attitude variable in the dependent list, and grouping in the factor box, click on Contrast. Now I did it in the textbook with the polynomial function, where I can just click quadratic and I don't even have to input the coefficients because I'm lazy. But I'll show you that by putting the coefficients in there, you can still get something useful. So let's click on Continue, Options, Descriptive, Homogeneity of Variance, and Plot the Means. Click Continue and click OK. So here we get the means. We can see that the rating for incongruent ad and content of the web page was 3.68. Moderately congruent was 6.06 and then congruent was 5.07. So at least the pattern of the means numerically suggests that moderately congruent was the sweet spot. That's probably about the best ad in order for people to find it more appealing. It should be moderately congruent. Now statistically, we can see that the hypothesis of a quadratic term tested over here, quadratic contrast, yielded an F value of 31.84 and P less than 0.001. So the null hypothesis of no bend in the pattern of the means was rejected. There is, in fact, a bend in the mean. And we can see that it goes from lower to higher and then down back again. And so th without having to do a whole bunch of analyses, like comparing this mean versus this mean, and this mean versus this mean, and this mean versus this mean, we can very efficiently test the quadratic term with one analysis. So the null hypothesis is rejected. We can support the theory that moderately congruent is the best way to go. I could follow this up with specifying the coefficients myself. If I happen to reject the homogeneity of variance assumption, I would be in a bit of a pickle because this analysis assumes homogeneity of variance. So I could actually rerun the analysis, this time specifying the coefficients myself. And let's actually deselect that. And we're going to have negative 1 here, and then plus 2 here for the moderately congruent group, and then negative 1 again. And that sums to 0. Coefficient total 0. Click Continue. Click OK. And here we have the coefficients reported. And we have the statistic reported as a t-value. Remember that t and f are related to each other, such that you can square the t-value to get the f-value. So check out the linear contrast video, because I'm making assumptions that you've watched that video already. It does not assume equal variances, and I've still rejected the null hypothesis. That's the extra bit of information you get if you specify the coefficients yourself. So that is how you can test a very basic quadratic hypothesis with one bend in the means with three means.